What is going on, people? I am your host, Teddy Nohas, straight out of the UK, where we spray EDT or EDP. Spot me, spot me, Bluetooth, Bluetooth. Yes, people, I hope you're well, hope you're safe, hope you're looking after yourself, and I really hope you're doing your duties. You know, that means going to see a friend, family member, check on the elderly, check on people who are sick, or just check and just see if people are just generally okay. Do you know what I mean? Just see if everyone is doing fine, you know, because today's times are a little bit questionable so um it's nice just to know that everyone's well-being and all that good stuff is um up to scratch you know what i mean today's video for me i'm, I'm actually quite gassed today's video is brought to you by know how tv and i'm not going to say sponsored by featuring confessions of a rebel now who are confessions of a rebel you will be thinking we'll get to that how i found out about these guys was through a competition a giveaway which I didn't believe in, innit? But it was a giveaway. I've done my research, I know who they are now. So, I ended the competition and I won. Me, 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 I won a competition. Not only that, last week I won another giveaway, bruv. I'm not even joking. Shout out to my scent hobby, I'll put your link here. My underscore scent underscore hobby, I'll put it right here. He, he's the reason why my nose is going to witness what Mansera red tobacco smells like. Anyway, so one day, not one day, one day last week, I woke up to a message saying, congratulations, you've won, blah, 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 blah. Shout out to Fragrance Foundation UK. I'll put your link here. At Fragrance Foundation UK. So they emailed me, I checked, done my research, and I was just like, right, this actually looks legit. Then I DM Confessions of a Rebel to find out if it was legit, but the package came before they responded. Last week, Wednesday, I got the message, Thursday, I was going home, front door, package. They really sent the package. Twice. Twice. They sent me two 100 meals, bruv. I can't even talk. So basically, giveaways are real, innit? Stupid me. Now, people on my Instagram, please don't get upset with me my stories. Don't get upset with my stories because now my stories is giveaway city. I know, I've spoken way too much. So let's get into it. All right, so obviously people, I've been waiting to open this, bruv. So here we go. I've busted open already, but I haven't busted open. So this one. So I've checked this out. This is currently 105 pounds. So Confessions of a Rebel gave man a premium fragrance, you know. They didn't cut and go give me no budget. £105 this is going for, bro. I, I, I am actually quite happy. I won't even lie. So who are Confessions of a Rebel? Right, so on their story, they say, We were born in 2018 holding fast to the idea that the fragrance industry was in dire need of change. Okay, okay. When we looked around, all we saw was a sea of sameness, outdated archetypes of femininity and masculinity, paired with the image of luxury that didn't relate to our lives. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We are not the supermodel emerging from the pool of gold. We are real, raw, and human. We are imperfect and complex in ways that cannot be contained. I like that, brother. Isn't it about time your signature scent reflects that? Now tell me that that's not like a bold statement. Right, so let's get into this. So this is um, Love High. Look at that, I've just packed you away, brother. All right, let's get it back out, let's get it back out. Yeah, say what, go on. Okay, cool. Do you know what? I think your days are being numbered, you know, cuz, because I've started to see that these lot, they actually make things like, that you can just pop it off. Now nah, we need you today, we need you, we need you, we need you. So right, because you've been cutting the table and cutting everything, I want to get you along the scene. So you can't make no mistakes. Okay, cool. Say bye, guy. Right, so the box so far, I like this, this it's like a little, like an indent. I don't know if you can see it. Nice. Love high, it's an EDP, it's an EDP as well, even clock that. Nice. Look 
at that. Confessions of a rebel, bro. Already I like this. Is this is a white bottle. Okay, I won't lie to you. I like the look of this stuff. I like this. 100 mil. You got 100 mil EDP. Good stuff. It's got a matte finish to it. Would I say a matte? Yeah, this is like a matte finish. So it's a white bottle, black lid. You can feel the letters. Love high. This is a nice looking bottle, man. Mm -hmm. I like that little. It's not going to fall off anytime soon. All right. I like this bottle. Let's uh, let's get out a smell card. Ishmiaki. Right, so before we pop this, I have a good feeling about this. Why? Because it's only got five. Something's in my eye. Wow, something's really in my eye. So I'm excited about this one because it's only got five notes. Five notes. I've noticed fragrances that have hardly anything. So five, six notes, they smell like, ah, can't fathom. Yeah, this smells so nice. So I'm expecting good things for this. So the notes that this contains is apple, peach, orange blossom, jasmine, sandback, and sandalwood. Oh, so this was launched in 2019 and this is meant to be a floral, fruity fragrance. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. <coughs> Spray test, yep, ain't been sprayed before. Okay, I'm actually excited, you know. Okay, hold on. Mm-hmm, I like this. Definitely smell the orange. No, I like this, bro. I don't, I don't know why, but I thought this was gonna be like, even though it's unisex, I thought this was going to be more steered toward ladies. But no. I like this, man. It smells fresh. I have a feeling that this is going to get better. Let me give it a minute. Now, another thing that draws my attention to this brand here is not just the bottle, it's the naming of the fragrances. So, they do this thing where it's like, it's white hair, black, and then you've got the pink. But they do different colours. But imagine, so check this out. The names that they got, one of them is called Get A Room, Bitch Please, Let's Be Real, Mondays, Almost Single, About Last Night, and The Morning After. Now, those names alone make me intrigued. I want to smell Almost Single, I won't lie. <laughs> I want to know what it smells like to be Almost Single, that's actually quite funny. But yeah, this is nice, it's actually nice to hold. It's like, I don't know, this, this mat as well, it feels powdery. Nice. So let's go with this again. Yeah, man. I like this. I can definitely smell the orange. And the peach. The apples. Oh, there's a lot going on, man. It smells nice. Definitely fruity. I like my fruity fragrances. I tell you what, this will be nice on a hot day, man. A hot day, you'll definitely stick out. Once you walk amongst people, because this smells like this, the projection. Yeah. I like this, man. Well done, Confessions of a Rebel, because I like this. I actually do like this. I'm definitely going to wear this and see um, how this goes. And it's an EDP. So, yeah, I'm happy with that one. So, people, <laughs> Confessions of a Rebel. I'll put the link here. I'll put the Instagram link here. Confessions of a Rebel. Check them out. Big brand. I can vouch for this one. This smells nice. Definitely. Hope you've learned something today, people. And hope you can take something away. Definitely have a little research with these people. Again, Confessions of a Rebel. Check them out. In there, smells lovely. Yes, people. So please make sure to like, subscribe, share. Because sharing is caring. Please make sure to kick the notification bell. Because that way, you'll know when I drop a brand new video. You get me? And before you go, don't forget to check out my boy, Big Toast, Instagram, Bomb Fragrances, YouTube, Bomb Fragrances, you get me? I've been your host, Teddy Noha, aka Tegnoski, but Russian and people, always remember,
You will learn nothing if you think you know everything. Peace.